Hi children, this is our shared right for the response to the wolf's letter. So you've read his letter and now it's your turn to write back to him. So you're going to pretend that you're one of the three little pigs and you're going to write your response to the wolf. And you need to explain your reasons why and use the words because when you're explaining and also because you're writing a letter as if you're the pig, you've got to write in the first person. That means you either use I, me or my. And your challenge for your letter is to include a rhetorical question if you can. So remember to start with the wolf's name and his name is Alexander. So I'm going to start capital letter, dear, and you need a capital letter for his name, Alexander. And remember to put a comma after Alexander. And then when you're writing a letter, you leave a line and then you start your letter on the new line. Now, let's have a think about what I'm going to say. Because I'm polite, first of all, I'm going to thank him for his letter. So my opening line is going to say, remember capital letter again, thank you for writing a letter to me, full stop. Now the wolf mentioned in his letter that he felt down in the dumps. So I'm going to make reference to this. And when you feel down in the dumps, it means you feel sad. But instead of using the word sad, I'm going to use a dictionary or a thesaurus and find a word that means sad, but a better one. So I've looked it up and I've found that miserable also means sad. So I'm going to use the word miserable. And I'm going to say, I know you felt very miserable. Now, if you're not sure how to spell miserable, use your sounds to help you sound it out or use a dictionary to check the spelling. And I'm going to explain why. So I'm going to use the conjunction because here that you felt very miserable because people have said that they think that you are now they think that he's a bad wolf but again i can think of better words that mean bad so i'm going to use mean and nasty in my sentence so they think that you are mean and nasty full stop but you want the wolf to know how you feel and you're going to put your side of the story through now so now you need to tell him that bit so i'm going to start with i again because i'm writing in the first person i would like to tell you my side of the story too, full stop. Now, my side of the story involves telling him that I miss my little pigs because he's eaten them up. Now he told me that he felt really sad because I was rude to his grandma and really impolite, but I wanted to know how it made me feel when he ate uh, my little brother and sister. So I'm going to start a new paragraph because I'm starting a new subject. So remember to leave a line when you start a new paragraph and start your new line underneath. So I'm going to tell him that I miss the two little pigs like mad and I'm going to put an exclamation mark at the end because I'm showing some emotion and some feeling. I miss the two little pigs like mad 
And I want him to know that I do not believe his story. I do not believe what he put in his letter. So I'm going to say that. I, capital letter for I, remember when you're referring to yourself. I do not believe you when you say that you didn't, apostrophe, so I've got a contraction there, instead of did not, I've written didn't, didn't mean to eat them up. Now you could even use a better word than eat. Use a thesaurus to look up some other words that mean eat. For example, gobble, you might use gobble instead of eat. You didn't mean to eat them up. So new sentence with a capital letter, you could have chosen to eat something else instead. And I'm going to use an exclamation mark again because I feel a bit angry actually, so I'm showing some feeling. So what you're going to do is you're going to carry on writing the rest of your letter. So you can use some of my ideas, but I don't want, don't want you to copy all of my letter. And I'd like you to write another two paragraphs and, and tell the wolf how you feel and what else you think about what else you want to tell him. Now refer back to the answers that you did um, about your adverb work and refer back to the story to help you think about what it is that you want to write back because he mentions in his letter about sneezing so you might want to give him some advice about that and you might want to tell him how the pigs felt when he turned up at their house how do you think it made them feel so explain that bit as well and when you get to the end of your letter don't forget to sign off so that he knows who it's from so you need to put from and whatever your name is and we look forward to receiving your letters, so feel free to email them in to us because we'd love to see your amazing letters because we can imagine there will be some amazing responses. So we look forward to reading them. Take care. Bye.